First, we want to get to the heroes, the ones who stepped in to save their fellow classmates. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer and Jennifer Kovaleski are joining us with that part of the story. And Jen, you spoke with those who knew Kendrick Castillo and the legacy they hope he leaves behind. Ann and Shannon, quite simply, they say he died the way he lived. A quiet and humble teenager with a true gift for robotics with such a bright future. I don't know what to say. He's the thing that, I don't know, legends are made of. You. In the midst of unspeakable tragedy, 18-year-old Kendrick Castillo showed remarkable heroism. His father says he lunged at one of the shooters and lost his life saving others. You know, I know that because of what he did, others are alive, and I thank God for that. I love him, and he's a hero. He always will be. His grieving family now wants all of us to know about him. Yeah, he was part of our pit team who would fix the who would fix the robot. For Ron Coffey and his son Zach, they are honoring Kendrick by looking back. He just would be that quiet um, person you could always count on, and, and I guess you know that's how he died. Coffey coached Kendrick for two years on the STEM school's robotic team, where he had a special gift. Kendrick was an absolute genius in the machine shop who would be humbled to, to have us call him a hero. Um, and, and I think that's part of, I think that's part of what makes me hero. His son, Zach, graduated from STEM and was also on the team. And then to hear that it was some, not only somebody I knew, somebody I worked with, it was, it was horrifying. My vision of him will always be um, wearing the safety glasses and covered in sawdust and holding up the work that he did. And it was outstanding. A young teen, just three days from graduating, with the whole world in front of him, taken so tragically. I'm going to choose to honor his memory by, by not standing for the status quo anymore. We can't just mourn for two weeks and then, and then walk away. And I think Zach summed it up pretty well. He told me when he first learned about what happened, his first thought was, oh, another school shooting. But then he thought about it and says it's really terrible that it's gotten to that point. And he wants to do something about it. For now, we're live in Douglas County. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7. Thank you, Jen. So Kendrick gave his life, while others also rushed the gunmen to save their classmates. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer live at the school as well. You spoke, Jason, to a student who fought back. Yes, he helped tackle a gunman who came into his classroom yesterday. Yet today, senior Brendan Bialy somehow managed to smile because in his words, what happened next proved that good people would win out, out over cowardly acts. Now, Brendan said he was just sitting in class in the seat closest to the door when a student that he knew came into class late with a gun. That's when the incident started. Now, the future Marine Corps member says he charged the gunman along with another student and Kendrick Castillo as shots were being fired. They tackled the shooter and were able to pry the gun away before more people were shot. I remember just feeling absolute and complete fear when he walked in, but um, once movement started, uh, it's either fight or flight, and I'm just more than happy to know that what I thought I'd be able to do in a situation like that was the reality of what I did. Now, despite being praised as a hero, Brendan spent the majority of his time today speaking about his good friend, Kendrick Castillo, who was only about a foot away from the gunman when he charged towards him to knock him down. Brendan and an IT teacher rendered first aid to Castillo, who ultimately didn't make it. Kendrick Castillo died a legend. He died a trooper. He got his ticket to Valhalla, and I know he will be with me for the rest of my life. Now, Brendan is part of the Marine Corps' delayed entry program, and when asked why he decided to go into the military after graduating here from the STEM school, he said, it's because I wanted to help people, which is exactly what he did here yesterday. Reporting live at the STEM school in Douglas County, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Why such bravery in that school. Thank you, Jason. Another hero that day, 18-year-old Joshua Jones. Today, his family sent us this photo and a statement on his behalf. They say during the shooting, Joshua was involved in disarming one of the suspects and as a result, suffered two gunshot wounds. They added that Joshua is healing and that this situation will live with us for the remainder of our lives.